She is the alleged Atlanta madam who's accused of running a brothel in the suburbs. And now she wants to be the star of her own reality show. Tonight, the next chapter in the story that has rocked Atlanta. It's 300 for the first hour, 200 for every hour after, 1,000 for the whole day. She's a nude model with a lucrative webcam business. Come on upstairs and I'll show you. But was this perky blonde also running a brothel in a ritzy Atlanta home? The Gwinnett County DA says yes. They were engaged in sexual activities for money. Oh, they were prostitutes. I actually have had calls from people saying, you know, is my husband in the book? There was a knock at the door and I get up to the, to the front door and I see about nine people sitting there in police uniforms. They asked if they could come in and I said, no. And they said, well, they had a search warrant and pretty much pushed me right out of the way and, you know, almost knocked me down. Since being accused of being a madam earlier this year, Lisa Taylor's life turned upside down. She says she'd been forced to sell her million dollar home and to become an exotic dancer to make ends meet. <laughs> I'll tell you what, I'm old enough to be their mama. Her life is now the subject of a TV reality series pilot. When you hear people calling you the mansion madam, what do you think? There's no, no Heidi Fleiss of me booking things for other girls or anything like that. I don't know where they even came up with that. Lisa says she'll do whatever it takes to prove her innocence. No, I'm not giving up. I would never give up. Did Rocky give up? And as for the status of her legal case, Atlanta's accused madam has pled not guilty.